boys and girls. Today I wanted to read a book called The Gingerbread Pirates. This book was written by Kristen Cladstrup and illustrated by Matt Tavares. We're going to read this book and think about comparing it to other books that it might remind us of, making connections to other books. We'll have to compare the characters, the setting, the problems and solutions, and any refrains or patterns that we see with things that are said again and again that remind us of some other book that we've read. Let's read The Gingerbread Pirates. The Gingerbread Pirates by Kristen Cladstrup. It was Christmas Eve and Jim and his mother were making gingerbread men. Let's make a pirate crew, said Jim, and so they did. The captain had a gingerbread cutlass and a peg leg made from a toothpick. Jim loved him best of all. You'd better leave some pirates out for Santa Claus to eat, said his mother. Not Captain Cookie, said Jim. At bedtime, Jim took the captain to his room. I wish you had a ship he whispered as he climbed into bed. Then he lay awake, listening for reindeer hoofs on the roof. Captain Cookie seemed to be listening, too. Jim fell asleep, but Captain Cookie went on listening. Where's my crew? he wondered. And who's this Santa Claus who wants to eat them? When the house was quiet, he swished his cutlass through the air. He tested his peg leg, tap, step, tap, step, tap step. He climbed down into darkness. Then he ran. Step tap, step tap, step tap. He ran until he came to a cliff. He dropped his cutlass over it, then followed. He found his cutlass and then another cliff. So he did it all again, one cliff after another, until he reached the bottom. Let's look carefully at this picture. Those aren't cliffs, those are steps. When he got to the bottom, Captain Cookie had a shock. A mouse was nibbling on his cutlass. What is his cutlass? It's his sword. Why, it's half gone, cried the captain. He grabbed the cutlass and slashed at the air. Oh, it's ruined, he moaned, and off he went. Stomp tap, stomp tap, stomp tap. Merry Christmas, called the mouse. Christmas? What's that? thought the captain. Then he turned a corner and saw something that astonished him. A huge tree with stars in its branches. Ahoy there, called a voice. Looking up, Captain Cookie saw two pirates climbing down toward him. My crew, he thought. Not The two men, Wavy and Dots by name, dropped to the ground. They jumped right up, but the captain saw that Dots had broken his hand. No cutlass, and now a wounded man, he thought. Just then there was a thump and a scrape. A black cloud puffed toward them. Run, shouted the captain. They ran until they had to stop for breath. Who is that, asked Dots. Must be that cannibal, Santa Claus, said Captain Cookie. We've got to get out of here before he eats us. Where's the rest of the crew? Up on that cliff, I think, said Wavy. Start climbing, men, said the captain. See, there's the rest of them. Does this book so far remind us of any other book? Just a little, huh? Not very much. Is there a pattern or refrain? Words that we say again and again? No. How do our characters remind us of characters from another book? What is the problem in this book? Captain Cookie wants to save his men the other cookies. 
What does he want to save them from? Santa Claus, he likes to eat cookies. Up they went. They're in jail, cried Dots when they reached the top. Save us, cried the pirates. Wavy and Dots kicked at the prison walls. They tried in vain to move the roof. What about a rope and a pulley from the ship, said Wavy. What about the ship's cannon, said Dots. There is no ship, said the captain. Then he noticed a strange look on Wavy's face and he whirled around. What he saw made him wish for his cutlass. What do you think he saw behind him? We can use our pictures, our illustrations for a clue. What, what is behind Captain Cookie? A gigantic man was leaning over them. Young Jim always leaves cookies for me, he said, but the plate was empty, so I came in here. Look out, boys, ordered the captain. The big man lifted the prison roof and peered in. Don't you eat my crew, shouted the captain, raising his fists. The big man blinked. This is your crew, he said. Yes, said the captain, and who are you? I am Santa Claus, and I swear by my sleigh, I won't eat your men. Sleigh? What's that? Some kind of ship? That's right. Swears by a ship. Can't be all bad, thought the captain. Still, he was suspicious. What are you doing here? He asked. Why, it's Christmas. Christmas, said Captain Cookie. I wish somebody would tell me what that is. Santa Claus laughed. Follow me, he said. I'll show you a bit of Christmas. What do you think Santa Claus could show the crew all those gingerbread cookies, all those gingerbread pirates that would show them what Christmas is like? Let's find out. What does he show them? The Christmas tree. And back beside the starlit tree, the pirates watched as Santa Claus reached into an enormous bag. What have you got there? The captain began. It's a ship, Wavy shouted. And the next thing Captain, captain Cookie knew, his men were swarming its decks and rigging. There's cannons and cutlasses, cried Dots. So we still don't have a pattern or refrain that gets repeated again and again in this book, do we? How is this book different than our other gingerbread books? How is it the same? The problem in this book was that Captain Cutlass or Captain Cookie was afraid that Santa Claus was going to eat his crew. Hmm. Did that problem get solved yet? Let's read and find out more. The sky glittered with stars. The captain rubbed his eyes. Real pirates, he thought, and a real ship. He turned to look back. Merry Christmas, he called, but Santa Claus was already gone. On Christmas morning, Jim's mother found an empty plate on the mantel. It looks like Santa Claus found the gingerbread men, she said. He did find them, but did he eat them? No. But they seem to have disappeared. I wonder what's happened to them. Jim was admiring his presence. His favorite was the pirate ship and its pirate crew. Now we know Santa Claus left the ship for him. Did Santa Claus turn those cookies into real pirate toys for Jim? He did. He didn't eat them. The captain had a cutlass and a peg leg, and Jim loved him best of all. This story was a little different than our other gingerbread books. There's no pattern or refrain that we say again and again. How is it the same, though? 
The problem is still somebody wants to eat the cookies. And are the cookies just regular old cookies like chocolate chip cookies or oatmeal raisin? No, they're gingerbread. That's the only thing that's the same though, that the cookies are made of gingerbread and that somebody wants to eat them is the problem. Thank you for reading this book with me. I hope you enjoyed it.